All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another DeFi tutorial. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to dive into the holdings within an ETF, and the whole purpose behind this is to enable you to do really easy top-down analysis, find the strongest groups, uh, themes in the market, whether it's semiconductors, AI, uh, whether we've, we're seeing rotation into commodities and miners, um, and basically dive into those themes very easily and find the strongest stocks within those strong themes which are potential trades. So stick around until the end, leave a like down below if you do enjoy, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and definitely if you haven't yet, uh, check out DeepView. We've got a special limited time offer right now, two months for $39. Uh, this is my daily driver for screening, uh, charting the works, and it's the best platform for swing and position traders, especially if you are a can slim uh, background type trader. So uh, definitely check out the link down below in the description. That's where you can find that special offer. And with that said, let's dive right into the video. So first things first, we're going to go over to my uh, kind of thematic ETF watch list. And you can find this in DFU right here very easily. If you click uh, this drop down menu after you navigate to the deep list module, click this right here, go over to deep list presets, go to top traders, and then you can load up that list very easily. And basically what this list is it's basically uh, 66 different uh, thematic ETFs. Uh, you've got kind of everything uh, represented here from jets to cybersecurity uh, to, um, you know, semiconductors, um, you know, weed stocks, marijuana stocks, everything here. And what this enables you to do is basically track rotation day to day by sorting by uh, daily closing range, percent change on the day. You can sort by five day percent change. So you can really see kind of where the money is flowing what groups are holding up well. And one of my favorite things to do here is sort by absolute strength one month. And I'm actually sorted by two columns here. So let's clear the sorting, sort by absolute strength one month. And then very simply, just in that one click, you can see that the miners have been the strongest group over the last month. Going down this list, you can see what's been the, the weakest. We've got ARC down here, uh, leverage tech here, semiconductors. Um, so just in that one click, by loading up this list, sorting by absolute strength one month, which is basically measuring the performance of each of these ETS versus the rest of the market, you can get a sense that the miners are acting well, you've got oil acting okay, um, and uh, utilities up there. And then down at the bottom, you're seeing rotation out of semiconductors and these kind of more growth minded assets. So super, super handy. And you can get, also get a great sense of the top-down performance of the market by just kind of scrolling through all these different ETFs um, and just seeing what their chart patterns are looking like, which ones are above the moving averages, which ones are below it. Uh, are they rallying off the bottom? Are they starting to show some outperformance? Uh, this gives you a great picture of where to dive in further into the market. All right, so let's say you notice a certain pattern. You're seeing that the miners are top in terms of relative strength. Well, how do you find an idea within that theme to trade in the market? Uh, what you can do here in DeepView is click the H for holdings right next to any ETF that has one. And right away, this goes ahead and loads all the different stocks within that group. Uh, so you can basically click in. And just like we were doing before with the ETFs, you can go ahead over through all the stocks that represent and create that ETF and look for stocks that have promising patterns within that overall promising group. Um, so for instance, PAAS uh, forming a tight range here above the 10 EMA, it's had a prior strong move up. Uh, so this could be a swing trade candidate if it breaks out and kind of forms a continuation pattern uh, to watch. Uh, we've also got here in this holdings, um, you know, layout here, we've got the percent holdings of that ETFs. Uh, so you can get a sense of, you know, how that ETF is constructed, what has the biggest weight, um, all of that is right there for you, which is pretty hard to find um, out there normally. So it's nice that we include it in DFU. And if you're done taking a look at the gold miners, this ETF, you can just kind of click this X and you're back to the overall ETF list. So let's do one more example by diving into SMH. Uh, so we're noticing that SMH is breaking down. Let's try to find uh, the weakest stock to short or something like that. Again, let's go ahead and click the H there. Uh, you can see the percent holdings right here. And then you can go through the uh, semiconductors ETF and look for uh, a chart to short if you're looking for that. 
um, and uh, just get a sense, uh, a bigger, a better picture of how uh, stocks within this group, within this theme are performing. Uh, so like I said, this is really helpful when doing top-down analysis, where you're looking for the strongest sectors, strongest groups, as well as the weakest sectors, the weakest groups, and kind of the weakest stocks within uh, those different uh, sectors for the weak ones. And if you're looking to play relative strength, uh, you're looking for the strongest stocks within the strong groups. And uh, as I mentioned, this also gives you a great sense of where rotation is flowing, where's the money going, uh, which groups are acting well, uh, and just gives you a great holistic picture of the market as a whole, uh, a much more kind of thorough picture than just looking at the ETFs and uh, you know the overall indexes, which can be you know a little bit you know skewed towards those mega cap names. So uh, this is a great um, kind of tool for both finding ideas as well as doing that market analysis. So again, just to review, whenever you're looking at an ETF here in DeepView that has an H next to it, you can give it a click and that automatically loads all the corresponding components to it and shows you that percent holdings that, that it kind of incorporates to create that ETF. And you can click that X right there to load back that original list uh, that you're looking at. And in order to find this uh, theme and group ETF, which we get a lot of requests for, you can just go over once you're in the deep list to deep list presets, top traders, and uh, load it up right there for you. We've also got a few other interesting uh, kind of standard deep lists here um, that you can go ahead and check out. But that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, let us know your feedback down below. If you have any further questions about this, please let us know down below in the comment section. If you found this helpful, go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.